It is a special morning for teens across the country, waking up to find out if they received a national medal in the 2023 Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. And this year marks the 100th anniversary of the awards, the longest running scholarship program of its kind for creative teens. Notable alumni are, include artist Andy Warhol, poet Amanda Gorman, and fashion designer Tracy Reed. Ah, yes, Tracy won that prestigious award when she was a student back in 1981. And we are so happy to have her with us Look at this you morning. Now. Good Tracy, morning. Tracy, great to see you. Good morning. Thank you so much. I mean, I mean, do you remember what you submitted back then and, and what it meant to you? I did. I submitted a collage piece that was a landscape. I'm always inspired by nature. And, you know, getting a Scholastic Art and Writing Award meant so much. It was like a validation oh. of my choice to go into an artistic career. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it meant a lot. And also, you know, I was competitive in high school. I <laughs> love it winning is. awards. Yeah. I love winning, yeah. yeah. And uh, today, 2,000 works of art and writing will receive national medals. So my question is for, there's still a whole bunch of people who don't even know that this is out there. Right. Explain it a little bit more, how kids who are interested can get involved. Mm. First of all, I say get involved, and I'm so thankful for all the opportunities I had to take art classes mm -hmm. and even writing classes. I'm not a great writer, but I know I submitted writing to the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards as well. Um, teachers really lead the way, mm -hmm. and teachers really opened up my eyes to the possibility, to the fact that this was an award, and um, they usually vet the students' work and mm -hmm. submit work uh, for judgment. So, you know, even if you don't think you're creative, even if you don't think you have artistic talent, try. Mm -hmm. Try. Try. Right. I mean, you don't well, know what's inside door. of you until you, you know, have a chance to express it. So take that chance. And, and, it, and the teacher that, that helps those students yes. shepherd this work through, you still keep in touch with the teacher that submitted you? You know what? Wow. Thankfully, I do. And Marion Stevens at Cast Tech High School. On um, our Detroit. Cast yes. Tech Detroit submitted my work. And, um, wow. you know, I had amazing teachers at Cast Tech and she shepherded us and and you know just took care of us every student from Cast Tech that went to Parsons School of Design here in New York she would come in every year wow. and check in on us she would give me a phone call and say we've got two students coming next wow. year and keep an eye out for them and she would come in for fashion shows and that. any landmark moments so. That's what speaking about. of fashion shows let's talk about quickly your your fashion line hope for flowers yes. um, I had a chance to wear one of your dresses this weekend I was in a, a, a dress from a boutique I didn't even know it was you know, her. Oh. so thank you so much thank and I you, you know you, we also remember Michelle Obama famously wore one of your dresses in 2012. Yes. Uh, your operations are now based in Detroit. Clearly, you have a love for Detroit. Now I see yes. why. Um, do you think it could be the next big fashion hub? Detroit can be. Detroit is my hometown, and there's so much possibility in Detroit. And it's a place where you can grow a business, you mm -hmm. can make a difference in the community, and that's why I launched my business there, because I felt like I had an opportunity to affect the community and mm -hmm. to be additive to the community. We also have art enrichment classes for young people, because I had art all the way through K through 12, wow. an abundance of art, wow. and there yeah. isn't quite as much available in public schools, so we wanted to make sure that we were offering something yeah. for young people to do on Saturdays, where they could express themselves and find themselves and also learn about sustainability, which is something that I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're handing this planet to the next generation. We have to make sure that it's healthy and that we're all doing our part to keep it in as good a shape as possible. Absolutely. Tracy yeah. Reese, well you just been a delight. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. Just a delight. Thank it's been an you. honor to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. And congrats on that award. That started yeah. it all. Wow, it fantastic. It started it all. Thank you, School <laughs> well, Plastic Art and Writing. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.